Hey little bugs, it's your girl Jim Ben and I'm back at it again with another YouTube video and in this one we're going to be talking about self-love and self-care and if you're interested, keep on watching. So when I first wake up, I like to do a quick prayer and then I brush my teeth, wash my face, you know, the usual. And then I decide to spend about two to three minutes just meditating on how I want my day to go. And then I'll go right outside as you see me doing now and just do a couple of stretches. And let me just say for the record, self-love and self-care isn't just about buying yourself gifts. Although those things are great and you should treat yourself, just make sure that you're nurturing yourself, talking to yourself positively, making sure that you're okay emotionally, physically, and mentally. This crystal is called the Green Aventurine and it promotes self-confidence as well as optimism. This crystal is called Rose Quartz and it promotes unconditional love as well as compassion. <laughs> Y'all, please don't mind AJ, but these crystals are the Citrine, which is for prosperity and abundance, and the Tiger's Eye for courage and resilience. Okay, now this wall is specifically meant for me to just wake up to happiness because that's kind of like the first thing I see when I wake up. So it has positive affirmations, things that I want to receive in my life, things that I'm grateful for, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> okay, so I know y'all probably like, what the hell does a turtle have to do anything with self-love? But to me, it means a lot because my turtle reminds me to take things slow when I need to, as well as just a long life you know because turtles live for a very long time and i want to grow old with my turtle okay <laughs> so let me live my life and let me love my turtle i know y'all probably thinking like she's a witch she's a witch bana bana but i wish y'all would y'all would have a rude awakening okay my spirit team does not play about me <laughs> period but um i'm just cleansing you know my area in the deck with palo santo and you can do that with sage palo santo or incense you know a wand whatever you want to baby it's your magic okay so believe in it and it shall work now i know i dress it up and make it look real easy but i am still a beginner at this tarot stuff so don't be trying to comment down below like oh girl do it ready for me okay so i mostly just do these for myself and for my family members and for my friends to get more of a feel for the cards you know before i just go out and be like oh yeah i'm offering services and stuff like no girl i do this for my own personal benefit so yeah Okay, so I did a career reading on myself, and the first card represents the past, and I got the sun card, which means joy, harmony, you know, great vibes. And then my present section, which I had got the page of swords, which means intelligence and, you know, a new focus at hand. And then for my future, I got the seven of cups, which basically means uh, I have to decipher from the illusions in reality. Look at God. Look at the back of the deck energy. I am a magician, baby. I am an alchemist, period. Listen, it's my way or the highway on self-care Sunday, okay? I'm gonna get that on the shirt. Okay, that's how bougie I'm feeling. I'm gonna put it in my glass and I'm gonna write in my little calendar, okay? So I can stay organized. I also started to make a separate page next to my calendar so I can dock down how I'm feeling before I go to sleep and when I wake up to see how my moods fluctuate. Now, I think this is the most important step when it comes to self-care or self-love, and it's good hygiene. I don't have a face steamer yet, so I just use this of good old herbs 
to steam my face in order for my pores to be open and really soak in all the goodies I'm about to give it. And I don't know why I've been doing it since I was younger, just mixing things together <laughs> like potions, but I'm mixing these two products together to create some type of cleanser slash exfoliant foam. So just bear with me. The mask is supposed to stay on for about 25 to 35 minutes, but I value my time, so uh, no. Now, I was a little scared at first, thought it was gonna take my edges and eyebrows off, but it didn't feel like anything. Y'all already know I'm a hydrated queen, so I'm moisturizing my face, you know, putting a cherry on top because we are done, okay? We're loving ourselves today and feeling ourselves every day. So I hope y'all enjoyed my video and I'll see y'all my next one. Bye.